Western Tian Shan is located in one of the 34 global biodiversity hotspots, which are the regions with significant levels of biodiversity, but under severe threat of extinction of biological species due to the loss of habitat and climate change. As one of the high priority ecological regions of the world, in 2016, Western Tian Shan was recognized as a World Heritage Site. In 2017, the Western Tian Shan Biodiversity Conservation Project was launched, being implemented by the United Nations Development Program with support of the Global Environment Facility in partnership with the State Agency for Environmental Protection and Forestry under the Kyrgyz Republic Government and other environmental organizations. In 2016, in order to preserve unique biodiversity, protect rare and endangered animals and plants, two nature parks were established in western Tian Shan, Alatai and Kanachu in Toktogul and Togus Toro districts, respectively. UNDP and the state agency are implementing comprehensive measures to strengthen the capacity of these parks. For the first time in Kyrgyzstan, forestry management and accounting of flora and fauna in Kanachu and Alatai were carried out according to a new methodology. Through these efforts, over 4,300 units were estimated, or in other words, subjected to value appraisal, and boundaries of the parks were defined throughout 240 kilometers. For the effective implementation of environmental activities, nature parks were equipped with new off-road vehicles, field uniforms, office machines, and equipment. Rangers were provided with communication devices, optics, camera traps, expedition equipment, and horses. For the first time ever, the camera traps were set up in the parks, which provide a unique opportunity to monitor the wild fauna, including the snow leopard, the Kyrgyzstan's pride. The Kanachu and Alatai parks received 50 backpack fire extinguishers and the same number of first aid medical kits. Moreover, the project donated to Alatai a motorboat for undertaking scientific research in the Karasu Lake and combating fish poachers. To create a dialogue platform with the local population, supervisory councils were established at the parks. Nearly half of the council members are women. The initiative was a success, and now the locals themselves work actively as part of joint patrol groups. Thus, joint work is underway to strengthen control over compliance with the environmental legislation and the principles of the rational use of natural resources. Rangers from the local population help park staff in their biodiversity conservation and anti-poaching efforts on a voluntary basis. The Small Grants Program, which is focused on supporting the business initiatives of the villagers, reducing illegal activities in the territory of specially protected natural areas, and reducing the load on ecosystems, takes an important place in the project. The project also supported reforestation activities in three forestry enterprises of Toktogul, Togus Toro, and Oxy districts, where valuable tree species, such as walnut, pistachios, and almonds, were planted on a total area of 194 hectares. The forestry enterprises received materials for installing fences around new forest plantations. The project organized activities on the natural forest regeneration on the area of 7,500 hectares and provided over 50 villagers with temporary jobs. The project helped boost rangers' knowledge on topics such as environmental legislation, wild flora accounting, combating poachers, designing strategies for the development of protected areas, ecotourism, and scientific research. A total of 88 seminars, meetings, and trainings were carried out, which were attended by about 5,600 people, including about 2,500 women. Over the past two years, Bishkek, jointly with the site secretariat, hosted a regional level Central Asian seminars on the implementation of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. Towards this end, work is underway with the country's dog training service to enhance its capacity to fight against poachers, the illegal trade, and transportation of derivatives. The project supported construction of a special enclosure for service dogs. Together with FAO, the World Bank, and GIZ, the project supported a workshop on the development of a state agency's action plan for capacity building and awareness raising in the field of biodiversity conservation and the forestry sector. 
over 30 representatives of protected areas of Western Tian Shan learned the positive experience of the previous UNDP GEF project using the case study of the Kan Tangri State National Park in central Tian Shan. Representatives of pasture committees and a delegation from Uzbekistan learned about the principles of sustainable pasture management in the Susamwer Valley through the example of the Electronic Pasture Committee System. The study tour was organized by the project in partnership with the UNDP Uzbekistan. Another initiative supported by the project was aimed at the conservation of the snow leopard. The initiative resulted in a new collection of children's clothing with snow leopard images and the inscription, Save Me. In this way, the organizers wanted to draw the public attention to the problem. Another tool for attracting children's attention to the issue and to enhance their environmental awareness was an animated video based on the Epic of Manas, which is supposed to have a positive impact on the youth. The related efforts are underway these days. To draw public attention to environmental issues, the project supported events within environmental dates. On the occasion of the World Bird Day, Bishkek hosted a fashion show, Inspiring Fashion. Photo exhibitions for school children in the Arts Museum and information stands in four secondary schools of Togus Toro and Toktogul districts were organized. In partnership with the Kyrgyzstan's bird watchers, the work on developing bird watching as a promising area of ecological tourism in the western Tian Shan is in process. The March of the Park's environmental campaigns with participation of children youth, rangers, and local partners are held annually in Toktogul and Togus Toro districts, which include tree planting, cleaning up territories, environmental quizzes and lectures in schools, as well as cultural events aimed at environmental education of the population and their appeal for conserving the biodiversity. In 2019, as part of the World Cleanup Day, a special campaign to clean the coastal area of Karasu Lake was conducted. As a result, young volunteers and rangers managed to collect over 15 tons of garbage. In honor of the International Snow Leopard Day, various environmental events, including school lectures, debates, quizzes, theatrical performances, and sports events are held annually. The events urge the public to save the snow leopard and its prey base. The snow leopard became the mascot of the national ice hockey team of Kyrgyzstan, which takes part in a number of national and international tournaments under the slogan, Let's Save Snow Leopards Together, thereby involving young athletes in the ranks of the snow leopard defenders and spreading the initiative on a global scale. The snow leopard has become the official logo of the World Ice Hockey Championship in 2020. The global significance of the conservation of the snow leopard and ecosystems is evidenced by the fact that in 2017, the related international forum brought together representatives from 12 countries of the world, and they all confirmed their willingness to work together to conserve the snow leopard and develop a joint project. The forum, held in Bishkek, was also supported by the project. The project contributed to the development of legal documents to help Kyrgyzstan stably improve the activities of protected areas. The UNDP GEF project makes a significant contribution to achieving the sustainable development goals. Save me, your nature.